Could you stop working earlier? Could you travel more? Could you do more of the things that you care about most today, but you're not doing it because you're in this saving mindset, which once again, is not bad. So often people undersave. So better to be an oversaver, as I imagine most of you are who watch YouTube videos, and I've got some comments from some of you telling me, hey Ari, it's just in my blood. I've been saving since I'm young, and that's what I do, and the idea of not saving feels weird, and I get it. It's not as if I'm asking you to flip a light switch and you're a great saver today and now you're a great spender. I'm not saying that. I want you to know when you are in a position where you no longer need to save. If you wanna keep saving for other goals, great. I'm all for it. Let's work through a plan so you can do that. But I am gonna tell you today exactly when you can start to think about when you can stop saving for retirement. You know by now I love examples. So we're gonna take an example of someone who's 25 and they're gonna invest until they're 65. The other assumption here is that you are going to invest $10,000 a year and you are going to get a rate of return of 8%. So after year one, you put $10,000 in, you got 8%, you now have $10,800. What does that mean? It means 92% of the increase, well, that was from your own money. That was your personal contribution of the 10,000. The other 8%, that was growth on your money. Now, after 10 years, your account would have grown to $144,000. Why do I bring that up? The growth on your money is now exceeding the amount that you are investing on an annual basis. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you don't know, I am the host of the Early Retirement Podcast, and this is what I love doing. I help people create a custom strategy to retire early. You can always reach out to me or a member of our team here at Root, and we would be happy to walk you through our planning process to show you how we can help you get more life out of your money.